Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we've got a big one for you. We're going to be looking at the FT Ghost DSing it against the most heavily requested VS videos, aside from that new Bauer stick, which is going to be the Trigger 8 Pro and also the FT6 Pro. I'm going to show you the differences between these two sticks on the ice and which one of these you need to consider buying if you're on the market for a flagship stick from one of the major manufacturers in hockey right now. Let's jump in and see which one is best. And a side note, before we jump into the video, make sure that you subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and if you want to see the Bauer one, turn your notifications on so we can VS the FT Ghost against Bauer's brand new stick, which will be linked down below when that video is live. And if you haven't done so already, jump on the Discord and also our Instagram. Links will be down below in the video description because we share a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You know what's coming, you know what's already been shot if you're on the Discord. And everyone that's already on the Discord, big thank you for being so engaging. And we'll jump into it and see which one of these three sticks is the better pick. Let's go. Yeah? You're throwing me under the bus here, bro. I want it to look nice and pretty. You're nice throwing and pretty. me under the bus. There we go. Essentially, some of your favorite sticks. My favorite sticks, no question about it. So, I don't know, man. The low kick stick battle video is yet to drop, and I think that was yeah, okay. it's going to catch some of this. Uh, okay, some of my favorite points. CCM sticks, though. They're like, of, of all time, they're up there. So, this is the one that's got the most hype at the minute. Now, how does this compare to the other ones that you're used to using? I want to put these two up against the Ghost, to see which one ranks best, and of course, why. But more importantly, which one are you going to go with first? I'll let you, let you pick. The biggest questions were about, I don't know, what do you think the comment was? Was it for this VS or this VS? I think it might have been for this VS, to be honest. Well, these two? Yeah, bro. There was a load in for this, and then we're just giving them a little bit extra for this one on top of that. We'll see if we can fit it all in today, but I'm going to go with the... This, hey, please... regardless, they're all going against each other anyway. Fair, fair. So you're getting two in one video. There we go. I think this is going to be what we start off with. Yeah, which one do you want me to use first? FT6 I... Pro. Yeah, I've used that, so you want me to use this first. FT6 Pro. Okay. And then we'll switch back to the Ghost, and then we'll switch back to the Trigger 8, and see how it compares. And if we've got enough ice time, then we'll also do Trigger 8 Pro versus the FT6 Pro. The ASV Pro is not in this video, because if you look back at when that stick launched, and you think about what month we're in right now, it kind of makes sense why we've excluded that stick, but hopefully you guys are obviously picking up on what I mean by that. Don't want to say it, don't want to get in trouble, but hopefully that makes sense. I'd say we'll start off with these <laughs> ones, we'll, uh, FT6 Pro against the Ghost, see how that stands out, and then move on to the Trigger 8 Pro, and figure out which one of these three sticks is the better pick. Let's go. All right, let's jump in. Let's get it. I haven't actually used this stick in a very long time. Really? Yeah. Stick though, I'm not gonna knock it. Okay. <coughs> as well. Stay again. What you need to touch on as well. Yeah. Is that you're always getting people commenting going, he's only ever gonna like the new products, the new stick that comes out, he always likes better than the last one, blah blah blah, right? Yeah. But it's like if you get this and you go, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Right? And you think it's phenomenal until you get this in your head. Yeah. That's still phenomenal. Yeah. But this is better. That's a fair way of looking at it. And then it stops all that bitching of like, well he said this was great, now this has come out, he's saying that's great. No, it's true. That's it's true. the problem, it's like, you can't put in a word why they're better, it just feels better and works better. But, I mean, we'll touch on it at the end of the video. Let's give these two sticks a whirl and see how they go. Uh, trick 8 Pro, yeah? We'll, we'll get into it at the end of the video. You've got the other ones over there. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's go.
First up, FT6, you gave us a little bit of brief feedback about it. So let's go into a bit of detail. What did you like about that stick? What didn't you like? Best shots? I think this this stick doesn't have a shot that it excels in. Okay. It's not one of them it has that specific shot that it's good for. It's good in all areas. Does that okay. make sense? Yep, it yeah. a hybrid, it makes sense. Yeah, it's not like it's great for wrist shots, but it's not that good for slap shots. It's okay at both. Okay. Grip, very nice grip. We'll see, like I said in the video, my gloves are a little bit slimy, so it's hard to sort of tell. Yeah. But it's okay. It doesn't, it has the normal CCM sort of shaft. Yeah. Sort of rounded the edges. It's a great stick. You've got a great feel for the puck. You've got a great backhand. But like I said, it doesn't excel in anything. It's just, it's okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I do. And I think it's important to mention that when we are talking about the attributes or the aspects of this stick right now, that's against these two here. Yes. Yeah. This against the older jet speed stick and other sticks we VS'd it again, different story. Yes. Yes. So just bear that in mind. Everything we say is specifically about the sticks you see in the video. Definitely worth mentioning there, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Because if I mean we've done the video on the, the old version, haven't we? Yeah. Go watch that. You'll you'll be surprised at what we say compared to what we're saying now. It's great, but when you VS it against this, yes, yeah. And of course the type of shooter that you are. Exactly. This is for me. This is how they feel in my hands, with my game, how yeah. I play. So please don't put in the comments, oh you're wrong. It's great. It might be great for you, but it's not for me. Yeah. Alright, now next up was the Trigger 8 Pro. Feedback on this guy. Man, I love this stick, but this stick is one of them sticks. It is absolutely amazing for that quick release wrist shot. Yeah. It's incredible. Like it's it's one of that things like you see someone using that stick without even knowing what stick it was, I'd be able to go, yeah, that's a trade right. Just just off of the feel. Just off of the way it comes off, how easy it is, it's just so clean, so nice. It has a better grip. Yeah. Maybe that's because of the little rib tech on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to correct him this time. I tried in the last video. You guys saw that. <laughs> he likes he likes the ribbed feel. I do. It, do. it might all be in my head, but I do really like it. Ribbed is better. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Fair play. It doesn't well, have a bit of ribs. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about the shots that you feel excel versus the FT6 Pro. So what do you think this stick excels at? This is definitely a wrist shot stick. Yeah. However, you can still get a great slap shot and a great one time. I'm sure we've got some clips. Yeah. I've got some nice ones off. A lot more better than I felt I did on that one. But if, if you had to say what, what shot is that stick for? Yeah. 100% the wrist shot. 100%. It is way more consistent than the FT6 Pro for me, I think. Okay. I just think it's way, way easier. Comparing these two together, I could pick a corner easier with this stick than I can that stick. So if you were in a shop and you were spending your hard earned money, it would be. The it, Trigger 8 be Pro. The trigger eight Pro has that. So even though it's a, it's a low kick point stick, you feel like it performs well in a slap it, shot it, as well as it the... It does, which is crazy to think. But yeah. it, it, you've got clips of it. The one time has come off so clean, so nicely. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean? You yeah, no, you video. can... I mean, I'm filming and I can see that when you're shooting with the FT6 Pro... It's just shot, way more comfortable for it's, me. It's good, but when you switched over to the Trigger 8 Pro, it's like, it was cleaner. It's comfy. You yeah. know what I mean? It looks comfortable. Yeah. And when it looks comfortable, it's probably better. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. I think that's pretty much the main elements of that. I'm trying I, to feel I think, think so. Exactly There's like not the much else. Oh, I, just the general shaft, shaft dimensions because you've got the concave, you, convex. Got, yeah, here, that little concave area. To be honest, you don't really feel it when you, you're shooting with it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know any person takes a slap shot from down there. First, I mean, that'd be quite a big... Yeah, it's, it's more about how the, the shaft helps the yeah. come off the, the blade of the but, stick. Anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, you can't really feel any difference. It's not like I can put it this way. If they're blacked out, I won't be able to go, mm. So the geometry when your hands are up here, you can't feel a major no, difference between. No, 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 no. Because this, this is a. I mean, it's, it's completely it's different. More, it's more down here. You can really feel the rib tech on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fair play. That's it. That's that's it basically. Okay. Fair. Now, when we move on to this guy over here, please do step aside. BFT Ghost. This Feedback. is next level. Yeah. Is is the only way I can sort of describe it. It's like. It's been put in an upgrade machine and turned to a thousand. It's, it's a joke. It's got the release of the Trigger 8. It's got a one-timer like, I mean, you see the video. I missed at least three with those. Yeah. Every single one of these hit the net. And I know some of you are going to be like, well, just hit the net with your shots. It makes a difference. Chris, you can quote me. When you picked this up, yeah. You didn't like it? No. But when you had the Trigger 8 Pro, you hit in the net. I preferred it, yeah. It makes a difference. It does. It does feel like a completely different stick. I got on well with the FT6 Pro, but if, if I was to rank these myself, 
I would go Trigger 8 Pro, FT6 Pro, and Ghost. Yeah, see. I, I personally didn't like the way they popped up. See, the, the if I was going to rank him, it'd be Ghost, yeah. Trigger 8 Pro, FT6. For me, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Ghost, for the way I shoot, I don't shoot anywhere near as hard as you, but it felt, <laughs> it felt like this was stiffer to shoot with than the, the Trigger 8 Pro. So I me. don't feel it. I don't feel it, personally. They all felt the same. Maybe that's, and they're, they're all the same, same height, and they're all the same flex. Yeah, all the same flex, 70 flex, uh, P80, uh, P28 curve. Yeah. It says it right there. Yeah. I mean, we can get close up on it, but I don't know, man. But for me, yeah. this stick is it's, deserves the hype it's getting. Fair. What, what do you think of the shaft? It's got, it's not got the full rib tech. It's got like just on the edges. Yeah. But it's got enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's got enough of the rib tech, but I like it. I yeah. can feel it. It definitely stands out more on this than it does the Trigger 8 Pro. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just see it just on the edges. Whereas on that, you've got to actually have it in your hands to be able to feel the rib tech. And also, what about the geometry? Because the FT6 Pro is the R geometry. And that is the C geometry, which is essentially exclusive to Pro's really rounded shaft. Can you feel that? I can't feel it, personally. Yeah. I don't feel any difference in any of these shafts, yeah. other than obviously the rib tech part of them. But honestly, it's great shot, great feel, great one-timer. And I don't know if, if you, you can hear it, but it sounds completely different. It does. It like does. when I took the one-timer, it, it sounded completely different when the puck hit my blade compared to these two sticks. Yeah. Maybe there's some tech in it that Chris can do. I don't know. I don't know, but it sounded completely different. It, it does. It sounded a hell of a lot better. Different construction, so it does make a difference. But with saying that, what shots do you think this excels at? I feel like, like, the FT6 Pro, it's not good in any aspect, but it's great in all of them. Okay. Does that make sense? That one's okay. This is great. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, so it's, it's like, like a full all round stick. Full all round stick. It's nuts. How would you rank the other two? So if you put it to rank. If I was to rank these two, this yeah. one, 100%. The Trigger 8 Pro first, FT6 second. Purely for the fact of, I feel like it's way easier for me to pick the corner with the Trigger 8 Pro. Okay, so rank them one to three sets. Ghost, Trigger Ghost, 8 Pro. Trigger 8 Pro, FT6 Pro last. Okay. And just for the people that don't know the type of shooter that you are, what is the most shot that you use on the ice? The most predominant shot you use? Oh, definitely a wrist shot. Sort of get get the puck off fast, try and catch goalie off guard. Okay. There's there's not a lot of time that I have when playing without someone trying to take your head off. So okay, fair. it's definitely if you get an opportunity to shoot, you you want to get it off quick and you want to catch goalie off guard and try and and that's the stick for it. Absolutely. All right. Fair but fair. it's also like when on the power play, if I get a one time mark, it's, it's it's going. Yeah. Like I said, it's not it's not got a specific shot. It's great in all of them. Okay. Hopefully that gives you all of the information that you needed to know about the FT Ghost versus, of course, the other flagship sticks from CCM, the Trigger 8 Pro and also the FT6 Pro. Now, of course, we're going to be having a video that you guys have requested, the FT Ghost featured against, you know what stick that is, Bauer's brand new stick. That's going to be coming really, really soon. But thank you for watching, guys. Links down below if you want to pick up any of these sticks and also to our Instagram pages, make sure you're following on there. And also to the Discord, make sure you jump on that and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.